a drummer's dream. Good morning, everyone. So good to see everybody this morning. Spring is finally here. Spring has sprung. You're all here. Those of you who aren't, probably is due to the pollen. <laughs> but here we are uh, on a beautiful Sunday morning to, to worship our God. Stand with us. We got a really cool, uh, really cool service today where we get to, to talk about a lot of great things going on uh, through the work of this church. And, uh, and we give uh, all of that glory and honor uh, to our God and Father. So we're going to start with a song and then we'll get started. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship his holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul, worship his holy name. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me, let me be singing when the evening comes. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul. Worship His holy name. Sing like never before. His holy name. You're rich in love and you're slow to anger. Your name is great and your heart is kind. For all your goodness I will keep on singing. Ten thousand reasons for my heart to find. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Worship his holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul. Worship his holy name. And on that day when my strength is failing, the end draws near and my time has come. Still my soul will sing your praise unending Ten thousand years and then forevermore Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul Worship his holy name Sing like never before, O oh my soul Worship His holy name. I'll worship Your holy name. Have a seat. Good morning. We have a couple quick announcements uh, before we continue with our worship service. Today is Mission Possible Sunday, uh, and it's a time where we um, where we Take, take up offerings to be able to support the different ministries uh, that this, this church supports. And so um, if you need a pledge card, they are on the tables in the back, and, um, or you can raise your hand. We have a couple fellas standing in the back. You can raise your hand if you need a pledge card, uh, and, and one will be g given to you. I see a couple little ones' hands raised in the back there, uh, breaking their piggy banks open. Uh, but it's a, it's, a, it's a great time to be able to support those ministries uh, here at Hunter Hills. Uh, we also have a, a special needs egg hunt today, which is um, just so great uh, to be able to serve our community for, and for those who have special needs. And for all those who worked really, really hard uh, to make this happen, uh, we really appreciate uh, all who have worked hard so far. But the work is not finished yet. Uh, so today... Uh, at 1 o'clock, uh, there's the first meeting for the, uh, the setup crew is at 1 o'clock, meet here uh, at the building. The egg hiders, you're supposed to be here at 2.30, and um, 
activity and craft volunteers need to go to the church office for a meeting at 3 o'clock. Anyone else who plans to come to the event needs to be arrive uh, by 3.30 because of parking. And we want all members here to park over by the fellowship hall uh, in the parking lot as far over as possible because over on this side of the parking lot is where the egg hunt will take place. Uh, so make sure you park on the, uh, facing the parking lot on the far left side over there. We have a wonderful Wednesday this week coming up. Uh, Mac Adkins will be leading us in that. And also on Wednesday at 6.30, um, parents uh, can join your children for Easter festivities. Miss, Miss Imagination, I don't know, you all don't know who Mrs. Imagination is, do you? Do you? Mrs. Imagination will um, have a story time and then there'll be an Easter craft and an egg hunt. Uh, the, the last thing, last item of announcements is there will be a men's ministry breakfast. We're really looking forward to that uh, coming up uh, this coming Saturday at 8.30. Uh, check your email. Make sure you reserve because we want to have a lot of food for that and uh, make sure that we have enough. I don't know if Boyd's around here or not, Boyd, but um, yeah, make sure we have plenty of food, right? We don't want to walk away hungry, so uh, we're looking forward to that. Uh, let's, let's all stand and, and have a word of prayer. Let's pray together. Father, it is such a blessing and an honor and a privilege to be able to be here this morning. God, we're here to sing songs of praise to you. Father, we are here to remember your son, Jesus, and to commune together. We are here, Father, to, um, to hear from your word. And today, Father, we are here to celebrate the ministries that, that Hunter Hills is blessed to be a part of. And Father, we thank you for that. Father, we are so grateful to you for all who have worked uh, toward the egg hunt for the special needs uh, uh, families of our community. And, and God, we pray that, uh, that you will continue to uh, to work through those who have prepared, and, and as things come to fruition, God, um, we pray for extra measure of energy for those uh, who will be working that. And Father, we, um, we are grateful to you that, that we are be able to be here and to be able to worship together, because God, you are worthy. Uh, you are almighty. You are the giver of all good things. Uh, and God, we are thankful for all the ways that you provide for us. God, above and beyond all things, we thank you for your son and our savior, Jesus Christ. And it's through Jesus' name that we pray, amen. All who are thirsty, all who are weak, come to the fountain, dip your heart in the stream of life. Let the pain and the sorrow be washed away in the ways of his mercy and steep cries out to deep and we sing come lord jesus come lord jesus come
Good morning. Welcome to the table. Help me finish this old saying. There are only two things that are certain in life. Death and taxes. So it might surprise you to know that some people don't pay taxes. Some people that make less than I make don't pay taxes. Some people that make way more than I make don't pay taxes. My dad lives in a nice house on 100 acres of land. I live in a, high, a nice house on a third of one acre of land, and I pay way more taxes, property taxes, than he pays. Doesn't sound very certain to me. And as far as death goes, and I'll, I'll circle back around, but for now, I'll just quote the great philosopher, Ricky Bobby, who said, <laughs> no one lives forever, no one, but with advances in modern science and my high level income, it's not crazy to think that I can live to be 245, maybe 300. <laughs> so my personality and my brain are on a constant search for certainty. I'm looking for the right answer, and I know that sometimes I can't get there. I don't have enough time or enough evidence to get there, but I want to get as, as close as I can to that. Being an engineer, sometimes I lean on mathematics, which we use to try to describe God's creation. And, and it's pretty comforting to me. The numbers usually work out. But even my, my favorite mathematical constant, pi, 3.14, those digits go on infinitely. The, the most powerful computer in the world can only get really, really close to the correct answer because it's an infinite number. And when I'm plugging that number into my calculator, I put in 3.14159. And if I really want to uh, enable my personality, I'll add 265 to that just to, to make myself think that I'm getting closer and closer to a certain right answer. But I know in my head that it really doesn't matter. It, I could stop at 3.1 or 3 for most of my work. You know, I see us, um, I, I saw a quote the other day that said, God is the true north. And we see see these uh, graphics and, and wall art at, at Hobby Lobby and Jamie's favorite store, Kirkland's. That, that's why it smells so good. Uh, we see those, and they, they, they talk about True North, and they have a compass there. And if, if you guys got the most expensive compass you can afford, you set it to north and took off walking, you would never make it to the North Pole. The North Pole is a real place, and there's a straight line between here and there, but your compass runs on magnetism, and, and there's a thing called magnetic declination, and you have to keep adjusting for it. So there are all these uncertainties in life that drive me nuts. And so I'm giving you a little bit of an insight into, into what it's like to be Barry. And it's a, it's a frustrating, complex, blessed, wonderful place to be. And I, I don't know what all to, to do with that. So, so back around to death. We, we believe that Jesus walked on this, this earth, that God sent him to walk with us. We, God sacrificed him for our benefit to, um, to save us from our own sins. We believe that he uh, resurrected and, and hung around for a while and then ascended into heaven. And we believe all that based on some stories that men wrote. Some of those stories were compiled by men and put into the Bible that we choose to believe I choose to believe that Tracy's grandmother is, is in heaven with, with Jesus. I choose to believe my grandparents and my friends, Buddy and Tucker and, and Brian, who just died last week, I choose to believe that, that they are there also. But I'm also smart enough to know that just because I choose to believe it doesn't mean that it's certain. That's where faith comes in. And we're all on this, this continuum of faith from little to no faith to lots and lots of unshakable faith and I envy many of you because I see you what appears to be unshakable faith and that's impressive and it's uh it's a I think I don't know what to do with all that except to be thankful thankful that God gave us the freedom to walk through that continuum because I don't know that you can really appreciate truth unless you've you've had to struggle a little bit and ask some questions along the way I think that, that in the, on this, this earth, it's hard to appreciate goodness without a little bit of, uh, of badness out there, to appreciate joy without a little pain, to appreciate peace without some turmoil. I think it's, it's hard to appreciate the joy of and satisfaction of giving if you haven't been hungry a little bit or, or been needy at some point in your life. 
So at this point in our service, we, we give thanks for the, the choice to believe, the, 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 the opportunity to have faith in the uncertain and, uh, and, and remember Jesus. And so I'm pretty certain, looking at the back, that there'll be some trays passed. There'll be two cups in each hole, not all the holes, but some of the holes. The bottom cup there has bread in it that represents the body of Christ. The top cup has juice in it to represent the blood of Christ. I also know that if, if those get stuck, you can twist them a quarter turn and they'll slip right out. I also believe that the, the Jesus that I choose to believe in, he welcomes all of us to this table. Everyone on this planet, everyone in this room, he welcomes to his table. Young, old, doesn't matter what your past is, what your future will be. I don't have the authority to, to disinvite you to Christ's table. It's Christ that invites us here. Let's pray. God, thank you for today. Thank you for, uh, for this season. God, I don't know how anyone could, could doubt your existence if they've lived even one spring in Alabama. It's a beautiful place, and we thank you for creating it for us. God, as also thank you for, um, for the ability and uh, the sense of wonder that you put in us, the curiosity you put in us, and the, the opportunity to question things uh, as we move, move along through life. God, we ask you to, uh, to continue to extend your grace as we do our questioning. And as we do that questioning, please keep us close to one another and keep, us, keep drawing us closer and closer to you. God, it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. We're going to read from Luke chapter 4, verses 16 through 19. He went to Nazareth where he had been brought up, and on the Sabbath day he went into the synagogue, as was his custom. He stood up to read, and the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed to him. Unrolling it, he found the piece where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Come ye sinners, poor and needy, bruised and broken by the fall. Jesus ready stands to save you. Full of pardoning love for all. He is able, he is able, he is willing, doubt no more. He is able, he is able, he is willing, doubt no more. Come ye weary. Jesus ready stands to save you, full of pity, love, and power. He is able, he is able, he is willing, doubt no more. He is able, he is able, he is willing. Saints and they 
sing the praises of the Lamb, while the blissful courts of heaven sweetly echo with his name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, here we now his love proclaim. Those of you who are uncertain about how the service is going today, I just like to put you at ease, okay? Um, what we're doing today, or one of the things we're doing today in our songs, in our scripture readings, and in our prayers are highlighting our ministries. And the first one that we're going to do is, is the prison ministry. Um, and I'm here to pray for that. But we have, we have some people here who are extremely talented and gifted um, by God and moved or motivated uh, to go into our, our prisons. Uh, Carl Carpenter, as you know, is full-time at that. Um, Fawn uh, Jacobs and Anna Miller also uh, work in that. And we have um, <laughs> Jeff. We have Jeff over here uh, that has has a history of going into into that and of course covid uh, wreaked havoc on on some of that and and adjusted readjusted but um i was talking to phone this morning or listening to her in our community group and she was talking about how uh, doors are just opening for her in montgomery and things are just limbering up and they're just really uh, having some really good participation from some some of those in in prison so she feels really good about that also uh, the uh, the wardens have a lot to do with with what you can do in prison and uh, uh, in at least one location, uh, new warden and and just uh, spring is breaking I, I guess in in her life and in her work on that. So um, and Carl uh, he he uh, well you saw last week if you were here at the the many good things that he's doing there, but. Uh, uh, in the scripture Josh read, it mentioned that Jesus came to, to set the prisoners free. And, uh, you know, all of us are probably in prisons of one sort or another. Satan entraps us, and he uh, puts us in prisons in our minds, and, and Jesus came to set us free as well. But we have the opportunity this morning to give to our prison ministry and to support uh, those who... Uh, working diligently in that, and, and it's, a, it's just a, I'm just thrilled to be a part of, of a, a church that, that sees fit to, to do God's ministry uh, in our prisons. And so let's, uh, let's pray as we ask his blessings on that. Our Lord and our God, we're so thankful that you are our God and you see each one of us. And uh, as we just sang, you are able to set the captive free. Uh, whether we're incarcerated or whether we're uh, free people in the world. We know Satan has uh, so many deceptive ways of entrapping us and, and putting us in prison, and, and we know Jesus came to set us free. We're so thankful, Father, you gifted uh, some in our congregation, uh, Carl and Fawn and Anna and, and others, uh, and, and put it within them a, a desire and a heart uh, for these people that are incarcerated. And we pray diligently that you would uh, give them courage, uh, give them steadfastness uh, as they present uh, the hope of Jesus uh, to a place that, that most of us can't even, uh, can't even, even go in there and, and have influence. But as they share Jesus, Father, we pray that uh, uh, 
the ways they do it would be effective, that the hearts that they, they touch would be moved, and that uh, your will and your life style, your, your um, desires uh, would be known and felt by these people, that they would understand your forgiveness and your grace as we all need, and, and that they would come to you and live their lives for you, whether they're incarcerated or whether they're, they're set free. Father, we're thankful uh, that we get to uh, give today to this great work, and uh, we pray your blessings on us as we do so. These things I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, good morning. Next scripture reading from Luke 10. We'll be uh, taking this out of the New Living Translation today. Uh, verses 25 through 27. This one, probably familiar to most of us, the most important commandment. One day, an expert in religious law stood up to test Jesus by asking him this question. Teacher, what should I do to inherit in eternal life? Jesus replied, what does the law of Moses say? How do you read it? The man answered, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Everyone needs compassion, love that's never failing, let mercy fall on me. Everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of a Savior, the hope of nations. Savior, He can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation. Rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. So take me as you find me, all my fears and failures. Fill my life again. I give my life to follow everything I believe in. Now I surrender. Savior, he can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, he rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Shine your light and let the whole world see. We're singing for the glory of the risen King. Jesus, shine your light and let the whole world see. We're singing for the glory of the risen King. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. So I'll stand with arms high and heart abandoned. Of the one who gave it all, I'll stand. My soul, Lord, to you surrendered all I am is yours. So I'll stand with arms high and heart abandoned in all of the one. My 
my soul, Lord, to you surrendered all I am is yours. All I am is yours. Savior, he can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever, author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. So yesterday, Angel and I were riding down the road, and as she often does, uh, will share some wisdom with me. Um, but it, this was, it was really interesting. It was a quote that she had read. Most of you know, I, reading is not my gift. Um, and it's her gift. So I appreciate that because it allows her to share some things with me. And one of the things that she shared yesterday was a quote from Corey Ten Boone that she said while speaking to a Nazi lieutenant. And that was this. In the Bible, I learned that God value, values us not for our strength or our brains, but simply because he made us. We are valued by the Father, not because of anything special we can do, not a talent. We're valued because God made us. We are his people. And that's all people, regardless of where they are, regardless of how attractive they may be or how unattractive and hard work they may be. God placed on Candy's heart to move into a neighborhood and become exactly what ministry is supposed to look like, and that is to love your neighbor. Literally love your neighbor. Same street, same block. Love your neighbor. And I don't know about you, but I'm excited that Hunter Hills is a part of something like that. Where we as a community of believers, where we as a community of God's people can partner with Candy and Miss Jean, because Miss Jean's part of it, she's there with her. We can partner to love our neighbor. You know, and the, and the reality is I probably won't live a lot long enough to see the fruition of the whole thing. But I get to see, I get to see the planting. I get to see the initial growth. And I'm just going to let God worry about it from there. He'll take care of it. So together, let's pray today for the work that is going to go on in the Highland Park community and on Polk Street through our Hope House ministry. Lord, today we're thankful that you value us just because. Just because we are your children. Not because we're anything special. Because the truth is we're not. But you loved us. You loved us so much that you gave us Jesus. And we are so, so thankful for that. And Lord, as, as your children, you have called us. You have called us to love you with all of our heart, with all of our soul, our mind, and our strength. But God, not just to love you, but to love our neighbor, love the people that we come in contact with every day, the people who live right on our streets. And Lord, today we lift up the ministry of Hope House. And I thank you so much that you placed that on Candy's heart and that she heard that call and she answered it and that she picked up, her and Miss Jean picked up and moved to that street to become a literal neighbor. So Lord, we pray, pray right now a blessing on that ministry. Lord, I pray for the hearts of the people who live in that entire neighborhood, that those hearts will be um, willing to hear 
willing to accept uh, their neighbor, their new neighbor. And Lord, that through loving those people, they will see you. And Lord, in seeing you, they will learn that the best life is the life that we have through Jesus. So Lord, today, thank you. I'm going to thank you in advance for what you're going to do through Hope House Ministry. I'm going to thank you in advance for uh, the work that will be done there, not just by uh, Candy, but by the people that she's able to bring in who get to learn the joy of ministry, to get to learn the joy of hospitality there in that home. So, Lord, take it. It's yours. Use it. Lord, and we know that you will bless it. And we thank you for that. Through Jesus, we pray. Amen. Psalm 137 is one of the most beautiful psalms. You've heard the Beatles song, By the Rivers of Babylon, we sat down and we wept when we remembered Zion. We are looking at, in our Sunday school, um, the book of Isaiah. And it's interesting to note that um, in the book of Isaiah, God spoke to Judah a message that he wanted to see the world hear, and they failed to do that. And eventually they went into captivity because they disregarded the desire of God's heart. Um, so in Psalm 137, it says, By the rivers of Babylon we sat down and we wept when we remembered Zion. There our captors asked us to sing the song of Zion, the Lord's song, they call it. And then the next verse is, how can we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? And then if I forget the O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her skills and so forth. It's a heartrending uh, psalm. Um, the description is that people are being tormented by their captors. They are taken into captivity away from their home. But one thing we notice there is that their captors wanted to hear the Lord's song. And the, the Judean, the Israelites, did not sing it. And so the Lord orchestrated a plan where he took the Jews into the Babylonian and the Syrians and the world territory so they can tell them about the Lord. So God is supreme. Um, he's almighty. He's omnipresent, omnipotent. He can do whatever he wants to do. I think it's a privilege to be part of a mission Sunday. And it does not have to be 10,000 miles away. It can be 10,000 miles away. It can be just next door, wherever the need is. And the need is tremendous. So I was asked to read the words of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, recorded in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28. So I'll read those two verses where the Lord Jesus himself commands us to uh, sing the Lord's song, in other words, the gospel, and take it to the ends of the earth and wherever the need is. Uh, verse 19 says, Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey me and obey everything I have commanded you, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Jesus, hope of the nations, Jesus, comfort for all who mourn. You are the source of heaven's hope on earth. Jesus, light in the darkness, Jesus, truth in each circumstance. You are the source of heaven's light on earth. In history you lived and died. You broke the chains, you rose to life. You are the hope living in us. You are the rock in who we trust. 
You are the light shining for all the world to see. You rose from the dead, conquering fear. Our Prince of Peace drawing us near. Jesus, our hope, living for all who will receive. You are the hope living in us. You are the rock in whom we trust. You are the light shining for all the world to see. You rose from the dead, conquering fear. Our Prince of Peace drawing us near, Jesus our hope, living for all who will receive. Lord, we believe. Lord, we Not all the time, but a fair amount of the time, um, we have a certain place on our kitchen countertop, and you will see a bag of Funyuns there. Um, if you haven't tried them, they are one of the most outstanding snack foods that are available. And, um, and my grandson, Hudson, shares the love of Funyuns with me, and so uh, he was at the house on Friday, and I gave him... Uh, my bag of Funyuns that I had. And so yesterday I thought, you know, I could go for a bag of those and um, went to the store and they were out of Funyuns. That's what we call a first world problem, uh, going to the store and then being out of Funyuns. And one of the things that it's difficult for a lot of us to relate to is third world problems and third world issues. Um, if we haven't experienced, if we haven't been there, it's really hard to explain um, poverty and living from day to day unless you've seen it uh, or experienced it. Um, here at Hunter Hills, we, we support a few third world ministries. We support uh, the ministry in Pakistan uh, that our brother Ted um, is, is heading up, and, um, and they are, are helping to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. How awesome is that? That's just like uh, the early church, the church in Acts, uh, being able to spread the gospel and the good news of Jesus. Um, and that's part of our third world ministry. The other one is uh, in Honduras. And our brother Ron Carter, who uh, doesn't worship here with us anymore, he used to be a shepherd here too. Ron Carter um, was instrumental in the ministry in Honduras, and our brother Alan Manley has, has taken up and, and is helping out with that now. Um, but uh, Hunter Hills helps to support, to feed, physically feed children that are at a school there um, and also helps um, with the spiritual feeding of them too. And so it's, it's just an honor and a blessing to be part of the third world missions uh, here at Hunter Hills. Let's pray right now for them. Father in heaven, God, uh, we are thankful to you for the vision that you have given men to be able to see the needs in third world countries. Father, for them to have a heart um, to do something about it. And Father, we are grateful to you that, uh, that we're able to be a part of that too. Father, we, we pray for our brother Alan as he um, helps out, helps to lead the, the ministry in Honduras. And Father, continue to give him wisdom and bless those who uh, are on the ground there at, at Honduras and those who prepare meals for the children. Father, those who teach the children that are there in the school. Father, we pray for energy and blessing to be upon them. And Father, for our brother Ted and for the ministry in Pakistan, Father, we, uh, we pray that your word will continue to flow, that, that your word will bear fruit. Uh, and God, that, that um, there will be new believers there. Uh, and, and those believers uh, that are there, that they will be strengthened and that they will grow in their relationship with you. And God, um, we pray uh, your blessing to be upon these ministries. And we thank you uh, that we are able to be a part of them. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen.
The scripture reading will be from Matthew chapter 15, uh, verses 7 and 8 and 10 and 11. <clears throat> you hypocrites, Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you. These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Jesus called the crowd to him and said, Listen and understand what goes into someone's mouth but does not defile them. But what comes out of their mouth, that is what defiles them. I've heard a thousand stories of what they think you're like, but I've heard the tender whisper of love in the dead of night. You tell me that you're pleased and that I'm never alone. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. I've seen many searching for answers far and wide, but I know we're all searching for answers, only you provide. You know just what we need before we say a word. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect to us. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. To you call me, deeper still as you call me, deeper still as you call me, deeper still into love, 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 you're a good, good father, it's who you are, it's who you are, it's who you are, and I'm loved by you. It's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am. You're a good, good father. It's who you are, it's who you are, it's who you are. And I'm loved by you. It's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am. this mic the whole time knowing that's not going to work. Sorry for anybody coming after me. So if you ask anybody, um, you know, at church or just at, at your work, how are you doing? You know, how's your day been? More often than not, they're going to come back with an answer that's something like this. They're going to say, oh, I'm fine. And then the next two words they're probably going to say are just busy. I'm fine. I'm just, just busy. Fine, just got a ton going on. Fine, life's just running at a ridiculous pace. That's, that's what I say, because that's how it feels. <laughs> There's a lot going on. 
And sometimes when I get busy and when I get in a hurry, it's really easy for me to keep my eyes focused on what's right in front of me and to walk right past people all around me. <laughs> they're in the store. They're in these seats next to you, um, just in our daily lives who are hurting and just have just some struggles in their lives that make the pity little things that I'm dealing with really look like, you know, nothing. I just want to encourage us as we're going to talk about these ministries just a second and pray over them. Just look around just as you're going about your daily lives and you'll see people who have got needs. You will see people who are hurting, who just need a smile, who just need a hug, just need a kind word, um, just need a little bit of help just need a Jesus in their lives, and we can be hands and feet um, to them and just provide such a blessing. Uh, it's a huge blessing at Hunter Hills that we get to support several um, just local ministries, just ones that are in our county. Um, and just want to run through those real quick. I know you guys um, can read, and I'm not going to go through what's on the page here. Um, but we've got the um, Atalga Interfaith Care Center. We've got several here who are involved in that, um, serve on um, board seats of that. Several have been over to, um, you know, volunteer. Um, but it's, you know, it's it's a food pantry for for families. But more than that, too, Keith, I think they do um, clothing and just, I mean, just people who are just struggling just to get by day to day, and they're there for them. They stand in the gap for them when they don't have anywhere else to go, um, and we support them. Um, we also support the River Region Pregnancy Center. Families who find themselves in just just a a spot where society really doesn't know what to do with them. Um, and sometimes those people get marginalized and pushed to the side as though they don't even matter and that no one cares. And that, that organization is there for them and we support them. Um, and we've got a new ministry, I guess, umbrella, if you want to call it, called Hands On Ministries in it. And it kind of encompasses several things. Um, one is this uh, egg hunt that we're doing this afternoon for the special needs community. I just think that's so awesome to be able to serve them and those families. And I can't wait. I was telling my kids, I cannot wait for this afternoon because it, the joy that I know I'm going to experience just me and it's not for me, it's just going to be great. Um, but just to be able to serve that community that there again gets pushed to the side at times um, is going to be really great. Part of that ministry too is also going to be going into schools and supporting schools. And we're already doing a great work um, in our county at the Billingsley School. Donna Mock's been heading that up with others for a long time now um, and and it's not right here in in our backyard but <laughs> the work gets done here they pack bags every Wednesday um, snack bags for kids who may not have access to food at their houses um, just a lot of really great work going on just right here in our community and we're so blessed to to be a part of that um, and to be able to give to those things so let's pray over those ministries father we thank you so much for giving us opportunities, Father, to, to be hands and, and feet um, just, to, just to our neighbors, just to people right here in our community, Father. Um, and we pray, Father, that we'll slow down and that we'll not be in such a hurry and we'll be willing to put our eyes up, Father, and just to look at, at people who are hurting around us and to be able to w be willing to meet those needs, Father. Um, and we just thank you so much for that opportunity to do that, Father. We thank you so much for being a good Father and for meeting all of our needs, Father. Thank you for all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Get down to the logistics part. These plates that, or these things that are going to be passed here in just a second. Um, you might not have seen them for a while. We've dusted them off and polished them really well. We used to pass these every Sunday, um, but we, we do it a different way now. But those are going to get passed. That's one way you can give, um, you know, through a check, obviously, or cash. We've also got some other options. You can do a text um, to give. They're pledge cards. Um, if you need help um, stabilizing your hand as you're writing these, I've heard it could be cold to some of you this morning. I'm willing to come over and, uh, and help you fill it out correctly. Um, but just any way that you, you want to give. And if, and if you came, you know, maybe this is catching you off guard today and you're unprepared, um, we'll obviously take uh, um, donations after today as well. Um, just call the church office and uh, we'll do that. But we're going to sing a song while these plates are passed, and um, just pray this is a blessing for you and for these ministries. This is my desire to honor you, Lord, with all my heart 
I worship you. second. Hey, Joel, will you turn me up just a touch? My, my speaking volume, sorry. So uh, we, we feel uh, as our, our, our praise ministry here uh, that, um, that this last song that we're going to sing is an expression of our faith. Uh, it's an expression of our faith that God will do uh, what we think he's going to do, and probably even more. Uh, so our shepherds uh, have, have guided us through this process of thinking and praying over this offering uh, to fund all these things that you've heard about today, that we've, that we've thought about, that we've prayed over, and, and we, <laughs> God has never let us down. Uh, not one single time on any special contribution Sunday we've ever had uh, God has never let us down, and we know uh, through that uh, experience and, and through our faith that uh, this Sunday uh, will be just like those in the past, and like I said, and then even more. So we're going to sing Shout Hallelujah to our God because of what He is doing. Shout hallelujah, Woo! shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah unto the Lord. Shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah unto the Lord. Sing aloud to God, let the people shout before His throne. Hallelujah, sing aloud to God. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah unto the Lord. Shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah unto the Lord. From the ends of the earth, from the ends of the earth, from the depths of the sea, from the depths of the sea. Let all creation praise His name from the ends of the earth, from the ends of the earth, from the depths of the sea, from the depths of the sea. Let all creation praise His name. Shout hallelujah! Shout hallelujah! Shout hallelujah unto the Lord. Shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah unto the Lord. Shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah unto the Let's pray. Father God in heaven, Lord, we sh do shout hallelujah to you. Father, you are the maker of the heavens and the earth. God, there is no God like you. And Father, we are able to be called your children. And that is so awesome for us. God, thank you that we can be your children. Thank you, Father, that we are not alone in this world. That as Jesus left, that he left behind your Holy Spirit. And Father, thank you that your Holy Spirit dwells inside of us. 
each and every day, and we praise you for that. And God, we praise you that we are not alone because you walk alongside of us. You are not a far off God. You are a near God, and we are so grateful to you for that. And so, God, we rejoice in today. We thank you for today. We thank you that we are victorious in this fallen world that we live in. Father, we can live victoriously through you and through your son. And God, at the end of this journey, we have that hope of eternal life in heaven with you for your with your son and we are so grateful to you for that and so god as we leave here we pray that you will walk with us and that we will walk in you and god above and beyond all things that you will be glorified through our words and through our actions and it's in jesus name that we pray amen let's read our benediction should be up there uh, we are a chosen people a royal priesthood a holy nation a people that belongs to God, that we may declare the praises of him who called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you have not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Amen.